All right, hey guys, Home Slots Fun here. All right, this is the machine I'm working on for a customer. This is not in a casino, I'll get that out of the way. I say it on every video, <laughs> or at least I try to, but that's what this channel is all about. I service and sell slot machines, so. But you guys like to see me play, especially top dollar, since it's my favorite. So I got a set of $25 denomination. We've got the five line version here. It's got a pretty good bonus here. Anyway, I have hand pays disabled, um, just so I don't have to keep feeding cash in because I haven't put the ticket in, ticket out, ticket out yet in this machine. Anyway, I just thought I'd play a little bit for you guys. Uh, I know some of you enjoy it, so let's get started. $125 a spin. And a public service announcement um, you guys have probably seen my older videos but there are two two slot channels out now run by the same guy um, who also runs payline slides payline slots his name is Charles and they're called the slot museum and mucho dinero slots uh, he plays high denomination he's always doing thumbnails about biggest jackpot on YouTube blah 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 um, he's completely fake he does the same thing I do. He has machines in his house. Um, and you can tell because he's always filming it like this so you don't see the reflections of his house or his apartment, um, that kind of thing. Um, that just irks me uh, because you can't call him out on it either because he, he moderates all comments. So every single comment that comes through, he decides whether it gets posted or not. So basically he can he can do whatever narrative he wants and again I don't understand why YouTube allows that to even happen and he's monetized for it so he gets paid quite a bit of money to just basically fake people out um, it, it just gets to me because there's a lot of honest people out here trying to do some really good videos and content I'm not talking about myself I'm talking about all these other slot channels um, that risk going to the casino you know to you know, get approval from security or whatnot to film their play. They're spending their own hard-earned money, and this guy is just fooling people. I mean, just go to any of his videos and look at the comments. I just, I feel sorry for those people, and I actually take it upon myself to reach out to as many people as I can in his comments to let them know what they're watching is not real, because it's a false sense of what's going to happen. He he puts everything at high denominate or high payback percentages, which is higher than what you'll see in any casino. Um, and yeah, he puts it in his description, but it's buried at the very bottom and you have to expand it. Nobody does that. Although, funny story on Mucho Dinero slots, he doesn't mention it anywhere. He just tries to pretend that he's Spanish and he's not. But anyway, all right, off my soapbox, I just, I want to remind people of that every now and then. You know, question what you're watching, um, especially if the comments look fishy or, you know, you never see a hand pay or you never see reflections or player tracking cards or anything like that it's probably not a real slot channel um, and that's fine it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that I mean that's what I do uh, but I like to disclose it because I think it's the honest thing to do people should know what they're watching we, there's too much there's too much fake unreal stuff on the internet these days uh, that need to be called out and whether it's me or somebody else I don't care anyway let's get back to play I'm sorry guys but I, I I just feel like I have to mention that sometimes because it just irks me. All right. Thanks for your time. So that would have triggered a hand pay there. But I have those set really high right now. Oh, so close. Oh. Was 
almost there. saw that before. There it is again. Taking this, but it's not real money. Make a so selection. Let's see, let's see what happens here. Third offer. One thousand five hundred dollars. Again, I would recommend taking it, but final offer. One thousand dollars. Boy, you're a winner. So clearly the 2000 was the one to take. $25. Third offer. $1,375. Final offer. $2,250. Boy, you're a winner! I guess that I get asked this a lot. Um, you know, if you go to the last offer, are you going to get punished because you passed up something that was good? And the answer is no. Um, each individual offer is completely random. Um, 
So just keep that in mind when you play top dollar. Yes, if you get a good offer, you should probably take it, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be punished for missing it. You know, like the last offer being 15 credits. I understand that that happens a lot, but it happens on the other offers too. You just don't notice it as much. It's like when you get it on the last offer, you feel like you got burned, so you remember that 15 credits, but <laughs> it actually happens pretty often. Anyway, um, so just keep that in mind with top dollar. Every time you hit that try again button, stops a random number generator, produces a result. Um, so it could be a first offer, it could be the last offer. I've hit the thousand dollar or thousand credits on every single offer before one, two, three, and four. So keep that in mind. Top dollar fact for you. almost a dream there. So close to 80,000. <laughs> I say it's so close, but I hit two double diamonds a lot and then a blank. Let's do it on purpose. bucks Couple more spins here, guys. My boss just called. <laughs> Break time's over. All right, last spin. All right. If you guys want to see some more of this before I ship it out, make sure you let me know, and I'll certainly do it. All right, guys, take it easy. We'll see you on the next video. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Share it with your friends. Help me out. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.